Hello, my friends. This is your happy stamper lady, Rachel Markin, helping the creative you shine through. Can you believe we are on week two of March Puppy Madness? I'm so excited. And I would love to hear what you've been doing. I'd love to see pictures of what you've been making. So if you have caught me here on YouTube, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and give me some comments and hit the little bell button for notifications. And go to my Facebook page, which is Happy Stamper Lady, Rachel Markin, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And please like my page. And if you share this video and tell me that you shared, you need to make a comment below. You're entered into a weekly drawing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get right to it, okay? So this is for those of you who shared with uh, my video. Um last week's video my first week's video so let's see who our winner is oh sorry i gotta show you my poo cup because that's where all your names are they get put in there who do we have here aunt maddie okay that's my aunt madeline thank you aunt maddie for sharing my video and for being an encourager i appreciate that so you see i've got my magic box here are you super excited i am before we do that let's cut a little bit of our cardstock i just want to show you how to cut cardstock because we've been using um pre-cut cardstock from stampin up which i do love and i will continue to use but for this card we need cardstock we've got whisper away and we've got blackberry bliss in the u.s it is eight and a half by eleven so we're going to cut it long ways we're going to cut it up and down here at four and a fourth if you cut it in half it gives you two pieces okay and that's our card for today and then the same thing would happen if you were to turn it this way you would cut it at the five and a half mark and it would give you a card that looks like this okay but today our card is going to look like this we're going to fold it in half and this is going to be the start of our card okay so our card is going to look longer that's what we're going to do then we're going to cut the blackberry bliss i'm going to turn it and you're going to cut it on the 11 side you're going to cut it at nine inches okay and that extra we will use not today but we will use that and then you're going to turn it and you're going to cut it at three and a half and three and a half because you can see that you're going to get two cards you get two cards out of your piece of cardstock this lets you have two pieces for that and while we have our black bay bliss there we're going to score it okay so we turn it on the nine inch side and at six inches we use our lighter blade and you score it here and then you go to the three inch mark and you score it again, okay? I'm gonna do that and then you would do that the same with your other piece of paper, okay? So, and then, can you see the score mark? You're gonna turn it down on the score and then you're gonna fold back on itself so that you have this Z shape, okay? That's uh, the other part of your card, then, we're going to take the other piece of Whisper White that we have. I'm going to turn it on the long way again. We're going to turn it on the 11 side. And you're going to cut it at two and three fourths. Two and three fourths. Two and three fourths. Okay. Simple, simple, simple. Simple measurements. Okay. These two pieces are extra. We're going to be using them for our punch later. And then these two, so then you have two pieces that you're going to turn long and you're going to cut at two and three fourths. <laughs> you're going to be tired of me saying that. Two and three fourths, two and three fourths. Okay. And it's going to give you those little squares because you need three of those little squares for each card there you go see your squares you are set we're set to make a card what super excited okay so we're gonna move our cutter to the side we are gonna need it for our dsp so we're not gonna completely move it out of the way but we're gonna move it to the side we're gonna open the magic box this week 
We're going to pull out our colors. So if you remember the colors I chose, you have many that you can choose from. I chose Rich Razzleberry, Mossy Meadow, Coastal Cabana, and Flirty Flamingo. And I also have Memento Black because... I like having that solid color. I think I talked to you about that before. See some gems in there because this is Adidasha Glitter Week. Last week was Simply Fantastic. Stamps and Paper. This week, Stamps and Paper, all the supplies. But we get Adidasha Glitter. Hmm, kind of my favorite. We got a punch here. Love this punch. Label me lovely punch. And then these are the exact same pieces of cardstock I just cut for you. That's what would be in your box so you're ready to go. Okay, so our box is empty. I'm gonna move that to the side. And I have all of these cards. What? Beautiful. And I will be taking pictures of each of them and I'll post them on my Facebook page. So this is another advantage. If you go to the Facebook page, I post extra things and you'll see those pictures on there. Okay, we've got our stamps, of course, painted poppies, peaceful moments, loving those, and we've got our DSP. And this, my friends, is what we're making. Look at that. Thank you with all my heart. Thank you. And then the field of poppies. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? And this card did not use that Adesha glitter because I promised you that I was going to show you that you could always just use your stamp sync paper if you don't want to buy all the supplies. But now you're going to see me add Adesha glitter as well, okay? Because you now got to add that Adesha glitter. So let's get to it. Let's get to our card. So we've taken that piece of card stock, remember, 11, 4 and a fourth, and we've folded it in half, which is actually at 5 and a half. That's what it is. I like to use my bone folder. It is not a necessity, but I think it burnishes your car stock really well and it makes it just like a really sharp image and just a really crisp card. We sell these for $7. I think that they're totally worth it. And then you're going to fold the front of that back on itself. Okay. And then I like that because there you go. You got a nice crisp image. And that's what you've got so far. Okay, that's what's called a Z-fold card. We're going to create a double Z-fold today. There are many ways you can do a double Z-fold. Um, so you can look it up on YouTube and you could say double Z-fold. That's what you would look up. If you looked up double Z-fold, you would find many different ways that people do a double Z-fold. This is just one of them. I'm just giving you an option. So now we've taken our DSP and I just picked one that I liked and it actually fits on the bottom piece. How simple is that? So I'm just gonna attach that on there and I'm using glue. If you've watched any of my other videos, um, you know that I've talked about there are different things that you can use to uh, for adhesive. I like glue because it makes it stick. Here in Ohio, we have the up and down weather. You don't know what it's gonna be. And so I like that because it always sticks. And the paper is the Love It Chop It style. So I have a video on that too. Hashtag Love It Chop It. It's a Kylie Bertucci has created this Love It Chop It method, which I adore. And so by doing that, your paper's ready to go. So all I'm doing is now I have to fill up these two spaces. So I'm looking and I think, oh, I, I love that blue. And then I think I love that purple polka dot. So these simply get cut in half. This paper is cut at five and a fourth, okay? So if you cut it at two and three fourths, it cuts the paper in half for you. And then it is ready to go on your piece. See how nice that looks? And I like, I think I like the blue one inside. So I'm gonna attach that. And if I were doing assembly line, uh, making, which I've talked about before in some of my videos where I'm making several cards at one time, then the other piece that you see cut here would be used on another card. Nothing ever goes to waste. And then I'm simply attaching that inside and then I'm going to cut this one. And I'll just keep that in my box for the next set of cards that I need to do. And then it's all ready to go. But I liked that polka dot too. Isn't that polka dot just the cutest? I think that polka dot is so cute. And so I think that the polka dot is going to be perfect on the front of that. So that's what I'm going to do 
on there. I didn't quite cut that the way I should have. So just going to cut that baby, baby piece off of there. And then we're going to attach our um, polka dot. So when I talk about assembly line, or if you had to make a lot of cards, um, this is a fun one to make. I know that it seems like it might be long, but honestly, once you start making your cards, you kind of like go to town with it. It really goes pretty fast. And I can attest to that because I, my dad had a full knee replacement surgery this last week and I stayed with him this whole week I've been with him all week which has been a blessing I love my dad and I love being able to stay with him and um so I tested out my theory <laughs> of the magic box can I fit everything in my magic box and take it with me and stamp wherever I go and the answer is yes yes you can do that because I did it all week with my dad and I've been making a bunch because I want to do thank you cards because he's had lots and lots of people love on him and visitors and bringing him food and all that good stuff. So now I'm taking this uh, piece that we cut in the Z and like a mouth, I'm fitting it over one of the sides like that. So you have a little left here and you have a lot left here and this is about an inch, I figured. I mean, that's not a perfect measurement, so don't... <laughs> don't quote me on that but it's about an inch probably and so all I'm doing is I put my thumb there because you have to put the glue on the inside so you have your little mouth like stay down so you obviously want to get the corners and then you slide that little mouth back in this is where the glue comes in handy so you can move it just slightly if you need it to and then this is where my bone folder comes in handy because I press down to make sure that glues there so you've glued this part but this is still wobbly so you open it up, okay, like this, and then on the back side of that purple, you definitely want to get all your corners in and then go around like that. And then you literally just let that drop down. And then you take that bone folder, you do that again and get that nice and burnished in there so that this is what you have, double Z fold. That's why it's called that, okay? And so now you have the basis of your card ready to go. Now, this card's gonna open up like this because of the way the flowers are facing. But I did some that opened up like this depending on how the paper was and they both work. It's, per it's perfect no matter which way you face it. Okay, so for now, we're going to set that to the side and I'm actually, I'm going to use the, I'm going to punch real quick and then I'm going to use that punch to hold it down because I like it to sit nice and flat. So one of the extra pieces that I showed you, this is the Label Me Lovely Punch. So um, if you don't have that, it's totally fine. And remember, you can just stamp into the little block that I did, like I did on this card there's no there's no punch there it's just the words in there so you don't you don't have to have that this is just extra this is where we start like ramping up the extra a little bit and then you need the three squares that we did okay super super simple super easy how is that now we do not need the cutter anymore we're done with that so we do need our Stamparatus. You're probably like, Rachel, where is your Stamparatus? Have no fear. The Stamparatus is on the way. I just need you to be able to see me cutting. But you know how I feel about the Stamparatus. Make it your friend, right? Make it your friend. So now we're going to stamp our squares, okay? So for mine, and this isn't how you have to do it. Again, you have all these choices of stamps, okay? But I chose to do the big poppy with the, like, um, dots, the background, and then I chose to do the big poppies in the, um, the punch with the background and then the field of poppies isn't that beautiful i loved how that turned out so i'm going to stick with that because i am making uh the grouping like i said for my dad for his thank you cards so people have been so loving and generous with food and just checking in and calling and how you doing and how's it going and super super great so my sister and i went together uh with him to the hospital and then my sister was able to stay with him and then it's my turn and it's just such a blessing to be able to do that and spend that time with him and make sure that he's doing okay and actually he's already on the two-week mark so 
uh, tomorrow he goes in and gets those staples out, which will be lovely. He will be super happy to have those gone. Okay, so that's it for the poppies. And remember, the block, the only reason I use the block and not the stamparatus plate is because I was randomly stamping right there. Okay, if I am going to, which you'll see me here in a moment, if I want something and I want it to be exactly there, then I'm using the stamparatus because I want it to be stay in place. So the last piece is going to use that field of poppies so that's a perfect example so i'm going to take my um magnets i'm going to put my magnets down okay and i'm going to put my field of poppies down right where i want it okay i want them to sit there like that and i'm going to let the plate do the work so the plate's going to come down it's going to pick up that stamp and then i'm going to use my rich razzleberry and I'm going to pop, pop, pop. We talked about that. And I'm going to get my field of poppies. Okay. So I'm going to press down all over. Get my field of poppies. Boom. Gorgeous. Happy, happy, happy. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to do a little background stamping. <coughs> Excuse me. So first... I need to decide my colors. So this one is mostly like the purple and the blue. So that's what we're gonna use. So my colors were actually just determined by the different paper colors that I was using. So I'm going to use this um, like big smudgy background. It fills in the poppies. I'm gonna use it that in Coastal Cabana and I'm gonna fill in the poppies. So pretty there like that okay and again if that is not your style because it is not exact it's not made to be exact don't use it find your own voice find what works for you find what you love about it okay so i filled in my puppies then i created this kind of like, like like mosaic i guess so i stamp and then just keep stamping and let the ink run out do you see what that's doing? Is that not the coolest like effect? I just like, I don't know, just thought I would test that and try it. Look at that. I love it. I think that's so fun. Okay, so we're done with the background as well. Okay, so those can go back in. And now we're going to use the splotches, I guess. That's what you call them, the splotches, okay? So with the splotches, we're going to go back to the rich raspberry for a moment. And then we're going to do baby splotches. So on the blank piece that we have not yet stamped on, I take that splotch and I go main and then I stamp off. So you see how it gives like a dark and then a lighter. And then I flip the paper over and I did the same thing, okay? So kind of created this like cool line. That's all I'm doing on the purple on that one. On the splotches on here, just gonna randomly go around and I didn't like go as dark because I didn't want to like overshadow the poppies. Look how cool that is. Can you see that up close? Like, can you see? Oh yeah, look how you get that like, I don't know, I just love that like mosaic look. Then on this one, I'm just going to like go here, here, here. So, like simple just like kind of went around and then we only have one more stamp in the poppies and then we're going to do some words okay then we're going to like get around to our words so we've done that and then there's this little like this little splotchy which i thought was super fun and so then we're going back to the coastal cabana and so it just kind of like highlights it so on this one i'm gonna just like make a line so i'm gonna go dark light light okay and then dark light light not cool and then i'm gonna flip it and do the same thing dark light light and then i'm gonna go dark light light it was just a pattern I came up with, just something I thought was fun. This one, randomly, I'm just going to stamp off, like, kind of, like, I like the deep dark on that. 
no no rhyme or reason um and i'm not gonna do it on this one because i just like the look of it you already got your blue and your purple and i think that that works great so i'm gonna just like like hold off on that okay and then that's gonna get put away and then i need to clean um i feel the poppies that i got going on over here get that nice and clean with the chamois so that i can put it away because we're all done we're done with all of our flowers and we're already ready for our words okay so then let's put that away and get that out of the way and we'll just put those away so now we're ready and i chose there i love all the words that's why i chose this set i chose thank you and thinking of you with all my heart because i'm making thank you cards for my dad but obviously you have lots and lots of choices so you know use what's going to work for you and then here again is where the stamparatus is really going to help you okay so now we have our flowers and we are going to take those magnets okay and i think i'm going to do the thinking of you with all my heart i think that's so beautiful on on this particular piece okay i'm going to let the plate do the work for me like we did with our field then i'm going to take that black memento this is the only one that i rub and not always pat 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 because it's made differently than the other stamp pads it's the only one that i will allow you <laughs> allow you you can do whatever you want but if you uh rub with the other ones it can destroy your stamp pads so this is the only one it's made differently so it doesn't do that so i stamped but the beauty of the stamparatus is you can stamp again and i like to do that with the black because i just think it gives it a real pow like a real pop up okay look how beautiful that is thinking of you with all my heart so beautiful okay now clean that off we're going to do a thank you we're putting our card together can you believe it and then you just do that assembly line cut all your paper cut all your purple paper cut all your little white pieces and you just go to town you just have an assembly line you just make that work and you do your little pieces and that's what i did at my dad's house i had um enough for 10 in the box so i made 10 um but i need to make probably <laughs> probably 15 more the generosity of people that's a beautiful thing i'm okay to have to make 15 more so um that is how i worked it i mean i did that i did all my thank yous at one time i did all my flowers at one time so i didn't clean my stamps you understand what i'm saying like i just kept like doing all my thank yous once i did that i did all my um thinking of yous with all my heart i did like an assembly line so i wasn't cleaning my stamps over and over and it went pretty fast when you're doing it that way it made it work out really well okay and there's our beautiful thank you ta-da love it love it okay so we're gonna clean that and we're gonna assemble this card we're gonna get ready to put it together here in a moment okay we're gonna put that away now we're gonna use something that has never been seen yet i have not introduced it to you yet this is super exciting it's called wink of stella so wink of stella is actually a glitter and a brush what that seems magical so you shake it up and then when you go down like i would i can push a little bit to get a little bit going you see how that came out like that and literally it is like putting glitter on my flowers like super super magical like a little glitter fairy has arrived and is now glittering my flowers you, you know that you know that that's making me happy hello little glitter fairy making my flowers all pretty okay and i'll show you that to you in a minute so you can see it in the light and i like to do um the flowers on the little punch that i did i think that's really pretty i think that it you know got a little glitter there and then i actually went into my field of poppies kind of pick up glitter because that first flower held a lot of glitter and i am literally see what i'm doing i'm just putting i'm putting glitter on my field of poppies super super simple i do think it adds an extra touch now again you don't have to do it or you don't want to buy all those extra supplies so don't, don't do that that's fine don't do that but if you're able to and you want to i i would suggest the um 
Winko Stella because you could use it all the time. I mean, if you're a glitter person. But if you're not a glitter person and you're like, yeah, that's, I'm not like super into glitter, well, then this is probably not the product for you. It's super the product for me because I think everything should have glitter. So I think everything should have an add a dash of glitter to it. That is my life philosophy. Add a dash of glitter. So there you go. So we've done that. Now I'm gonna hold it up close so you can see it a little bit because I don't know that you I don't know that it is. Let's see. Get close enough there. Let it focus. Uh, it's not showing itself off to best advantage. Let's try that one. Oh, uh, I think you can see like a little bit. So it's a shimmer. It's a wow when it's in person. I will tell you that. Like when you are doing it in person, it's it's beautiful and you're super happy with it and you're like, wow, that is really, really beautiful and I love it. So now we're putting our card together. We are almost done. Can you believe it? So we're going to attach this piece here. A little bit of glue there. And we're going up and down, or you can go sideways. Remember, that's preferential to how your paper is moving. That's how I decided it, to be honest. And then when I lift it up, here's how I did this. When I lift it up, I kind of moved it up like this. So that I kind of got, like lined it up because you want it to be you want it to be lined up like that's your like that's your goal. So um, I glued this. Now you um, could use dimensionals. That is in my out of dash of glitter moment. But I kind of liked it just on the piece for some reason. I don't know why. I just thought it was really pretty, and I liked it together. I liked it on there. Still not really showing itself off, but. I really do love, and I hopefully if I when I do the pictures on Facebook, I'll really try to get it so maybe it shows itself a little bit better um, for the glitter, so you can go, wow, I really see that, and it really added something to it. So it is quite gorgeous. I use uh, the Winkastella a lot, and then you're just adding the last piece here. You're just adding this um, little field of poppies down here quite beautiful super happy with it and um, you could sign your name in the field of poppies that's why I left it there but also the beauty is too that you could sign it on the back it's a white piece so you could sign it on the back the last thing that we're going to do is add some gems and we're done so on this one, these are the um, Noble Peacock Gems. On this one, I actually, I know that we don't necessarily have that pink, but I guess we do. We've got a little bit of a pink, like a tone in there with like that flirty flamingo in there. I think it's really pretty. So I'm just going to take the glue and I'm going to add a gem. I'm just going to add it to the center of the big poppies that's all just adding the the gem to the center of the big poppies i think they're so pretty on there so just adding a little bit of glue you don't need very much drop your little gem on there let it sit now of course i'm not going to shove that in an envelope right away you'd want that to dry give your glue a chance to dry okay we're adding our final gem and believe it or not we are done we're done with our card Okay, ready? There you go. It's a double Z fold card on our Add a Dash of Glitter March Poppy Madness Week. Yay, super excited. So, remember to like me on Facebook, share so you can get entered into the drawing like Aunt Maddie did and win something from me. And if you have any questions, please leave me comments. I love to hear from people and love to hear what you're doing and see what you've created. I'd love pictures of what you've created as well. And until we uh, do that, till the next time, I will show you, this is my Facebook page. So if you wanna check out my Facebook page, that's what it looks like. And this is if you, when you wanna order at any time, that's my demonstrator website page. You can order any time you would like to, okay? and be able to do that. So my friends, until we craft again, which I enjoy so, so much, go and make the world a better place. Be an encourager, be kind, show love to someone today. Make a difference in the world around you, my friends. I bid you adieu.